Welcome to the 9 to 5 stream. Hello and welcome to the 9 to 5 beta weekend wrap up stream. Uh, joining me in the studio today is our executive producer, Milos. Hi, guys. And through the magic of the internet, we're also joined by Guy, our community manager. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Lauri, and I'm the player experience lead here at Red Hill Games. Uh, today, we'll be looking back at the beta weekend, talking general, generally about how it went, what kind of feedback did we receive, and how does this affect the game going forward. And on the second half of the stream, we will be looking at the beta weekend competition and announcing the winners. But yeah, to kick off the beta weekend discussion, let's have a look at a highlight reel created from the clips that you have shared with us, uh, like for the beta weekend competition. Triggered. Enemy is located near prototype. Get over here, boy. I can't raise you that side, man. objective. Great. Now crouch or vault to get near the ammo box. All right. Fly the drone through the window. Let's work on synergy. The road to career success is littered with bodies. My shots aren't either. hitting. Wait, what? Are they hacking? Wait, what's going on? Oh, I think we're on the same team. Oh, oh think... that's what that means. Okay. Yeah, uh, we really loved seeing all of the streams and clips being shared on Twitch, Discord, and social media. Uh, a lot of links were shared around our company Slack during the beta. And so if you saw a spike of like many people joining our kind of stream, it was most likely us. Uh, for previous tests, we had an NDA that mm -hmm. prevented people from sharing any in-game content. Were you actually surprised by the amount of streams and content being shared now that the NDA was lifted? Hell yeah. Like I, you know, everyone was saying like, obviously people will be streaming, but uh, I, I, I was hoping for, let's say, few streamers, few YouTubers or Twitch streamers. and. Then when like when the wall team was just sending you know the links like hey this guy is actually streaming as well this guy is streaming take a look on Thor and take a look on that one I was like wow like <laughs> some people instead of actually playing they spent most of the time just watching the streamers yeah. and uh, we sort of split to two parties you know one one of us were actually playing and checking the servers the other ones were actually just watching the the streamers and sending all the feedback like the 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 hardcore channel on, on Slack was just full of it full of all the information so I, I would like to actually thank to all of you guys who who, uh, who helped us to you know to improve the game played with us stream uh, recorded videos posted it either on YouTube Twitch uh, uh, anywhere on, on social media big thank you big uh, big shout out to all of you guys and uh, I really hope that you will stay with us 
Uh, I know we can't talk about like any specific numbers when it comes to the test itself, but <coughs> looking at the amount of streams and of course like the relatively low queue times, I, did we reach like the goals that we have set ourselves for the test? We did and uh, we, we exceeded the expectations, <laughs> if I would use actually the in-game lingo a little bit. Um, we, we had obviously some milestones and we were checking uh, every morning, like Finnish morning, uh, with, uh, you know, W for the marketing, with Matthias, uh, with Moomin, with others. And we were talking about a situation like, hey, how is it? Like, are, are we healthy? Are we doing well? And the great thing was that these discussions were pretty boring, uh, <laughs> which is always good. You know, like bo boring in there means that everything is go goes fine. So it was actually went very well. Uh, I, I'm very happy that people didn't have to wait or that there were no no not long in queues or something that people could actually play even in the very odd hours. You know, like. Uh, you know, when, when I was checking, it's like in, in states, in the three in the morning, people were still playing. It was actually fine, uh, Europe as well. So obviously Australia, sorry, Australia, <coughs> I, uh, we, we will definitely need to do something in there. <laughs> but uh, it was sort of a test, uh, test for yeah. us as well. Okay. Uh, what kind of things were we looking at kind of with the beta? Was it mostly kind of getting more player feedback or looking at the underlying numbers when it came to like how people actually played? I would say it was for both. Um, <clears throat> obviously, players' feedback is the first and, and foremost always. Like uh, we wanted to know what people think, how 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 they interact with the system. We, the first time when we actually tested the new meta, uh, the, the new meta game progression, and uh, <clears throat> based on alpha, we did a lots of changes. And uh, this was the first time when we could actually try it. Uh, you know, you guys probably know this as well. We reduced the randomization and so on, but. Uh, we, we wanted to see this in, in, in really practical practical ways. We knew that there were problems, you know, we will be talking about it later <laughs> on probably, but uh, things like uh, issues with uh, some of the communication uh, with in, in a hut, uh, issues with, uh, with the audio on the, on the gun feel, with the occlusion, we were already looking into that, but uh, we didn't really want to wait any longer and we wanted to actually push it to players and, and get the feedback because that's how we can improve, right? That's, that's, that's the way forward. Yeah. <coughs> uh, so yeah, while the general sentiment around the game was quite positive, like as you mentioned, there were like some feedback topics mm -hmm. that kept popping up. So kind of, I think let's discuss some of those in more detail. <laughs> more than happy to. And then of course, if you guys like have any questions, feel free to throw them on the chat and then Kai will be your voice on the stream. But yeah, I think starting with the gameplay flows themselves. So as we saw on the end of the video, <laughs> That was um, during the third round, the game suddenly becomes a 3v6 when the two teams mm -hmm. then need to join together to win or try to win against the last round's winner. Uh, this is not something that was super evident for you people. So is this something that like we're planning to make clearer or is this kind of how are we addressing <clears throat> the many, for many bullets being wasted on friendly? Oh, great. Uh, for, great. For, for sure, like, uh, I'm, I'm going to be honest, even I had one moment when uh, I was playing uh, in, in random queue with, uh, without the teammates and then suddenly someone started, you know, the, the other team started shooting us, throwing grenades. Then I actually got frustrated and I'm going to be honest, I run in the middle of the match to shoot grenades under my feet. It's like, you know what, I have enough of this. Like, come on, guys. And then I actually found out, I was like, my God, we actually forgot to turn off the bonuses for killing the friendlies. <laughs> <clears throat> and in that Oops. moment, I just saw like playing, you know, all experience, got, got actually kills and assists. I was like, I sort of get why people now react this way. That, that, that might not be the best. Yeah, like they, <clears throat> not only that, uh, there was a little bit of an issue that we didn't actually communicate it. Uh, so yeah. we, we didn't have time to, to look into that. And uh, the second thing was that uh, for many people, it was actually very interesting to hear the feedback. Like, hey, they actually look like targets. So that, uh, that was something that, uh, that we... We sort of spot check immediately in the first day uh, mm -hmm. from from the first few plays, and uh, uh, right now we are reworking the, the round trees and looking into how to change it again. As always, guys, sorry, no promises, and, and cannot actually say what exactly it will be, but uh, we we definitely will take a heavy step on that and uh, and rework the round uh, round trees so there is, as you guys were saying, a little bit less wall hex and uh, <laughs> okay. a, a, a little bit of that. And, okay, uh, so sticking actually with the wall hacks themselves, so. The round threes were, I think, in general, quite a big discussion topic. Mm -hmm. And one of them was that some people say that it felt impossible to defend. Mm -hmm. 
like you against two teams. <clears throat> uh, some people say that the wall hack was way too powerful and it was impossible to play against. Uh, so basically, what is your take on this? Is the third round currently unbalanced? I think it really depends. Uh, well, in, in general, we will be changing it, so yep. no, no worries about that one. I think it was like based on the numbers, and I think you 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 will be actually sharing some numbers with the players as well, uh, and we, we can actually then take a look roughly. But like, it showed that the balance was roughly there. I, I was even surprised because I, mm. I was afraid as well about that and. Uh, uh, for me, like when I was playing with Kai, and uh, Kai, I think even you can actually mention that one from your side, but uh, uh, for you, it was actually very too powerful. And when I was playing with you and Barjan on, on the stream, I was really surprised how well you can actually utilize it. Yeah, that's true. It's actually really good if a person really knows what they are doing. It actually becomes a really powerful tool. Maybe. Towards some people, a little bit too powerful, but yeah, that's why balancing is the thing, right? <laughs> I, I feel like we are looking on one of them. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not in that camp. I, I can say that honestly. Like yeah, I, me neither. But uh, we, 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 will, we will be doing heavy stops on that, and uh, uh, we, we hear you guys. Uh, yeah. So we, we, will, we, will, we will do some changes there, and okay. uh, we are even rethinking, like, is, uh, you know, in Alpha, there was not the uh, 3v6, and mm -hmm. now we are looking as well, like, Maybe somewhere in between would it be better? Uh, yeah. Like uh, changing, like changing the rule into three v six. The balance is very difficult, and we wanted to give it a stop. You know, it's, we, we are experimenting, and that's yeah. that's fun. But maybe 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 going a little bit back and and, and rethinking a bit the three v six v six and go back to the three v three v three might be a solution. So okay. you guys will see in in uh, at some point. No. We, we will see where we are. Unfortunately, we don't actually have the graphs to show, oh, but it's a shame. Okay. I like graphs and numbers, but in general, like it was surprisingly well balanced. Mm -hmm. So, uh, the th like on the third round, the winning team wasn't like either winning too much or losing too much, but it was relatively close to like the thirty percent win yeah, rate. Yeah, I, I, I want to say like I think it was like one to like uh, one third to two third no. or like thirty three percent. So like I. The numbers were pretty good, yeah. but uh, obviously not always it's about numbers. It's yeah, it's about uh, it's about people's perception as well. Yeah. And, uh, occasionally, the people's perception might be actually more important than the numbers themselves. Yeah, that is true. Uh, sticking with the gameplay aspects, let's talk a bit about weapon balancing. So there were quite a lot of reports that the starting weapon, so the Merlin mm -hmm. assault rifle, uh, was essentially like the only weapon you needed to use mm -hmm. in the whole test. So anything you unlocked after it wasn't as good. Uh, was this partly because of like the limitations of the four-day test so that people weren't able to upgrade the other weapons far enough? Very, very heavily, very okay. heavily and uh, obviously uh, you guys could actually see as well that the Marilyn was uh, was different variety uh, and it was, uh, was a bit better in, in from, from that perspective. But we were testing sort of the limits and how, how far can we go. You know, usually when we test we try mins and max and, and see like uh, because if, if you find out what is the minimum numbers and what are the maximum numbers, then you can sort of position yourself real well. Yep. So we are we are have taking heavy stop on that. If it's on the distances, if it's on the ranges, <clears throat> we are looking as well into like uh, uh, how to simplify a bit the the damage. Uh, if it's the if it's the fall off, if it's the character damage or, or armor damage. So we are we are look we are we are taking quite uh, quite a bit of changes in there uh, to okay. make sure that uh, it's more predictable. Because okay. I think. I think I, I heard that a lot, that, uh, and yeah. even I, I know that Kai, you mentioned as well, that uh, occasionally the Merlin AR felt like it's, it's perfect, and occasionally you felt like it's not really performing. Um, I mean, the AR, the Merlin AR, the basic one, mm -hmm. is a, pretty much a perfect all-around weapon. Mm -hmm. It can handle pretty much any range. Close range is doing really good. Of course, you have to play a little bit around the shotguns mm -hmm. and the SMGs because they can still kill you. Mm -hmm. But if you know a little bit how to work with the weapon, yeah, definitely an all-arounder, especially mid-range. That's where, oh man, that, that gun, the sweet spot on the mid-range, especially if you can hit people in the head. It's, it's a beauty. <laughs> but without going too much to the details, like we had a playtest uh, a few days ago and, and you kind of mentioned that uh, it, it started to feel a bit better. Uh, so I think uh, uh, we, we, are, we, are already, we are already taking steps there and uh, hopefully we will be, we will be in a, in, in a happy, happy place very soon. Yeah, so that's actually kind of going to the second question already that basically there were also comments about how the weapons didn't feel that they had like enough recoil or enough oomph in the shot. 
uh, like is this something like you basically mentioned that like when it comes to balancing everything is still being changed and yeah, yeah, yeah. but I, I would say it's not only the balancing you know we we in, in game development in general you know that uh, majority of the of the beauty is coming from the polish and this was obviously from our perspective sort of content complete so we had everything in there all all the ingredients were there but uh, you know the special sauce was still a little bit missing and uh, <clears throat> we knew that uh, you know audio needs polish animations need polish uh, the final tweaks needs to happen yeah. but again it's much better if we first go test the the rough ones mm -hmm. uh, hear the feedback and then we can polish rather than doing everything to polish stage and then finding i was like hell it doesn't work and you have to rework everything it's very expensive it's, it's very hard then to actually go back we yeah. that's why we were testing so early with the friends and family yeah. with alpha and uh, uh, this was just another stage for us i'm super happy that now it's done you know for finalizing closing everything polishing all the aspects of the game especially the second to second yeah. perspective and simplifying a little bit the meta as well yeah. to, to make sure it's uh, there is a little bit more predictability and understandability in that yeah. way. we're actually going to go deeper into pretty much all of the different things you mentioned so that is good but nice. yeah so um, basically sticking with kind of the weapons and the gameplay aspect like there were some uh, confusion or I guess misunderstandings about hit feedback mm -hmm. and basically players being slightly confused about like what ranges can you use the weapons at uh, if you broke someone's armor or if you downed them and things like that. Uh, is there something that we're doing to make this clearer to players? So we, I actually came literally three hours ago uh, from a meeting with JJ with, with our second to second designer who was just actually listing all, all the areas and uh, Obviously, this was one of the one really discussed topic. Uh, I think it's combination of uh, VFX or effects in general with uh, uh, with the hit markers uh, as well as with an audio. Uh, so, like all these three sort of needs to come together. Uh, yeah. I think there was a lot of confusion that we actually noticed that uh, when uh, and to be honest, like it, it completely slipped my mind or even even the designers' minds, like. Red in many games means kill, and like mm -hmm. I, I saw so many times when someone had a had a combat with someone, and then suddenly like yeah yeah he's done. Well, he's not. He was just down from yeah. the armor, and then people stop shooting, and they actually got killed because of that. <laughs> so obviously, we are trying. To, we, we we will be fixing and cleaning up that com that communication. Okay. Uh, yeah. So okay, uh, then <laughs> grenades were a big topic <laughs> in many ways. So basically. Uh, there were basically two different groups. Some mm -hmm. people thought the grenades were super overpowered and some people just couldn't use them at all. Uh, so if we kind of start with the kind of overpowered aspect of it, do you think grenades were too powerful? I think if you knew how to use them and if you knew especially how to use cooking well, uh, in combination with the problem that it was very, like occasionally the hot indicator for the grenade actually slipped into your corner. Uh, that could, like, I few times died by like, the hell, and then it's like, oh my god, again grenade. So, I think the combination of these three elements were pretty rough, uh, and uh, as well as the the damage uh, range uh, was not yet finalized, okay. uh, yeah. and like the the range was a little bit too steep. So basically, the difference between I get a little bit of a damage versus I get killed was too close to each other and yep. uh, wasn't that clearly communicated and obviously that in <coughs> together with the fact that uh, the the hut really occasionally did not help you yeah. uh, caused a lot of frustration yeah. and most likely since everyone was still using the starting armor there were a lot of grenades to throw yeah. like it's interesting like in in our in-house mm. ones uh, mm. for example even my favorite combination is the fire starter and smoke mm. uh, sorry uh, and uh, gas yeah. and we were very much afraid that that's gonna be very quickly meta Mm -hmm. um, it didn't happen, and I'm I'm somewhat happy. But like we were, we had actually the wall company playtest uh, of of uh, one of the features, I think on Tuesday, and uh, we had amazing fight with with people and like the explosions were everywhere, you know, fire grenade gas, and they're like people were like, hi, oh, this would be if this would be on beta, we'd be already dead by the grenades. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's actually a very good point. You know? But I think that as well then goes to the other area, like the, for some. The, the throwing of the grenades was occasionally quite, uh, yeah. could actually quite bite you to the ass and, and really surprising. Yeah, as we saw in the trailer, yeah, yeah, or awesome. like the video in the beginning, awesome. it was quite easy to kill yourself or your friends. So I actually have a bit of like data tidbits from the test. So oh. we actually saw around 2000 people accidentally killing themselves with a grenade. 
we don't know how many friendlies went on these as well, but. I think I was there a few times. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say that, like I, I had actually a few. Yeah, so what are we doing to address or like make grenades easier to throw and easier to kind of? Start point from where it throws needs to change a little bit, uh, as well as the rotation and the general the, the direction needs to, needs to improve. I would say these will already help a lot, as well yeah. as polishing the animation, because the animation was, uh, to be honest, it was sort of like, are we gonna, because like in, in, um, in Alpha we had the famous uh, spawning grenade from the chest, and yep. the, the, the chest throw, uh, which uh, I'm not sure if you guys saw, but on YouTube there is a uh, great video from Kirill and uh, Simeon, we really can recommend, it's, it's perfect. Um, so we, we obviously wanted to take away the, <laughs> the, the, the famous chest throw. Even though it, was, it started becoming sort of a our thing, uh, there was also people who were as well <laughs> saying like, "Keep it in; it looks so bad." Yeah. Um, but uh, we, we in the last minute actually added the added a little bit different throwing animation, and uh, I think that uh, even though it improved that side, it uh, it a little bit uh, hit the uh, yeah. uh, the trajectory. But I I believe that, that that one will be. It's not hard to fix. That's, okay. uh, that that's I'm I'm not afraid of that one. Okay. Uh, I guess sticking with the animations then, um, there were quite a lot of videos being shared around as well as then submitted to support about uh, our mercenaries using guns in creative ways or aiming them or just shooting with their hands and kind of things like that. So this was of course just a beta weekend, so there will be a lot of polish being added later, animations yeah. among them. And many of these were bugs in fact. Yeah. And, uh, Again, it, it's sort of a back and forth, like, should we, you know, wait for one more week or should we go out? Yeah. And uh, these, even though they are obviously funny, and, and again, <laughs> thank you for all the reports and, and, and seeing it on, on, on the streaming, but uh, we, we were sort of like, okay, well, let's go out. And it, yeah. it's better to get the data uh, from players and get the feedback from players rather than sitting on them and polishing all yeah. of these. Again, it's, polish takes time. And, uh, you know, I, I really wouldn't like to polish something that uh, is not you know, signed yeah. off by players yet, uh, yeah. and, uh, and and in this way we uh, we got the feedback. We know what to improve, uh, what to change, and what to just polish and, yeah. and, and sort of nail down the nail down the last last bits. Yeah, uh, but can, then kind of with this being one of the major feedback mm -hmm. topics so far, will this now for upcoming tests kind of be a higher priority, making sure that well, animations I, work? Well, I they definitely will improve. I can guarantee you there are still going to be some, and I can guarantee you there are still going to be bugs, but uh, uh, some, like, obviously our goal is to fix majority and, and make sure that these are very, 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 very unlikely to happen. Yeah. I think especially in the observer mode, uh, it's it's my favorite one. I think that that one, that one is hard, uh, hard mm -hmm. not to crack, actually. It's uh, okay. it's something that we are, uh, we've, been, we've been toying with for a while, so... I think the, my hunch is if you if, if I would be now actually putting my money on the bet, there will be one or two on that okay. one still. But I hope hopefully uh, in very minimal minimal way and okay. um, especially the uh, the ones where you are playing needs to obviously be. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. There were quite a lot of videos where in a tight match, like you were trying to do something and suddenly your hand just blocks the whole screen or something like so that. My, so my favorite one was that uh, I, I was playing with a pistol, oh, like sorry, I was swapping between pistol, grenade and an AR and then suddenly I ended up with grenade in my face like this. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I basically spent half of a round running like this with a grenade and <laughs> you know, yeah, well, we, we had few, we had few. Oh. Um, actually. Then uh, there were also quite a lot of comments about movement and especially mm -hmm. movement speed. So there were kind of comments that there are more or less only two viable ways of moving in the game, either crouching mm -hmm. or full on running. So that the basic like walking speed wasn't really used that much. Mm -hmm. Would you agree with this? I um, think in some ways, yeah. yes. As, as a player, in some ways, yes. I think the, the idea is, and in, in some ways, I'm, I'm a little bit uh, happy, if, if I want to <laughs> say this way, because it means that people have basically two modes. I need to really quickly reposition, so I run, or I want to be slow, and I, I, I want to sort of, you know, take my, take my movement, take my time, and, and be silent, and, and be a bit more careful. I think <clears throat> that's a good combination, because what it means is that uh, people understand that this is not just about run and gunning, and it's not about you know running, jumping over everything, and uh, uh, and and doing very. I'm not gonna name games, but like do, do, doing things which I might not <laughs> not really enjoy. 
we, we don't want that. And I like that uh, now it's becoming more and more like, okay, I, I really quickly reposition somewhere and then we are, you know, playing a little bit of a cat and mouse. And then again, it, it will resolve and I will again reposition somewhere. I think the, the combination is good and uh, <clears throat> obviously the movement speed is always, uh, it's going to be always like, hey, I think it should be a little bit more, I think it should be a little bit less. We tested a lot internally mm. and uh, to be honest, the, 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 the speed of movement uh, very much affects the pace of the game. Yeah. And it's, it's very interlinked together. And we tried, uh, we tried fast movement. The problem was that it's very quickly led into uh, increasing the speed of the game tremendously, losing a little bit of the ability to use the items, yep. uh, being able to protect well. You know, they, they started like the flanking become basically instant. And it, it sort of lost the touch a bit. Uh, so I we, we are somewhat happy with it. I think uh, we need to still look a little bit on the, uh, I was talking about with, uh, with Aki, our lead animator, on, on the especially third person animation of the movement, uh, as well as on the hands and, and how they actually behave. But, uh, and, and, and obviously the animation of the guns uh, while, while you are moving. But I think we will be more tweaking these rather mm -hmm. than actually tweaking the, uh, let's say, the speed or okay. the, the A to B uh, A to B movement. Yeah. Yeah, there were also kind of some comments from players that on some of the kind of, I guess, old New York, so the larger map, quite a big portion of the, especially the beginning of the match is spent on <coughs> moving from one place mm -hmm. to another. So basically, I guess that's where people were especially saying mm -hmm. that like they would have hoped that the running speed would have been slightly faster, that the mercenaries would probably be in relatively good shape so they could actually sprint and not just jog. I understand. I understand. We, we, will, we will see if, for example, rather than improving the speed or like pumping up the speed, uh, if maybe moving a little bit of spawn points closer yeah. to each other or something like that. Might, might be probably rather the yeah. direction of, of, uh, of where we would like to go rather than um, you know pumping up the speed and, and in, in fact the pace. Because uh, as I said, it's not about the speed of the movement, it's about the pace. Yeah. And uh, in, about like, we, we tested a lot on this one because obviously, again, for those who played friends and family, you know that the speed was a little bit different. Uh, it, it more felt like a tanky. Oh. Uh, and then in alpha, we, we, had, we were actually a little bit slower as well. So we, we are sort of trying to find the right balance between the pace, uh, slowness, and uh, and like giving you really the feeling of this is a bit more tactical yeah. than just like hey let's run and start shooting everyone and let's uh, let's let's be the the best in who who can quickly avoid and you know dodge the bullets almost like in Matrix. Yeah, yeah, I remember <laughs> that in one play test we were testing out speeds and for some reason I think the value for speed was I guess input a bit wrong. And the whole match was played in like super fast motion. Yep. Yep. It yep. was, yep. it was interesting, but it didn't feel like nine to five. No, no, no. <laughs> I would agree. And we had a lot of discussion about this one with JJ and Aki, and a uh, uh, lots of back and forth. And you know, if if Aki is watching, hi, I know that you would like to say that uh, uh, you would have still prefer it maybe a little bit more. But uh, like, it's it's a lot of back and forth on that. And I I think we are we are in pretty good place. Uh, and now we are, I, I wouldn't talk about changing there. I would mm -hmm. be more talking about tweaking. Okay, yeah. Uh, then kind of moving on to the general progression of the game. So for people who have been in closed tests, this was like, since the alpha, they haven't been able to actually look at crafting mm -hmm. or missions or things like that. Uh, there were some comments that kind of players were feeling a bit worried that there is a considerable grind waiting for them once the game is released. Kind of, there's lots of matches or kills that mm -hmm. you need to do per weapon to unlock things. There's unlock timers for the corporation rewards. Um, so, kind of, could you explain us what kind of the current goals are when it comes to the grind? So, like, in order for players to get the weapon that they want mm -hmm. to the level that they want, like, how long would it be taking? I wouldn't say this way because I think it's going to be very different for different type of people. Uh, depending on how often you want to play, how much you want to play per day, it's very mission oriented. And I, I think you guys actually noticed as well. Obviously, uh, you guys played uh, played the version which is already set in, in a way of uh, getting prog uh, getting progression in months, let's say, and not actually be, be stopped after four days. I know there was a lot of uh, comments like, hey, why didn't you give us at the end all the weapons just mm -hmm. to test? We, to be honest, that wasn't part of the test. That was actually part yeah. of previous tests in, uh, in the closed tests. And 
Um, for us, it was very important this time to actually get the vibe of the, of the progression and see how far people can get and how much is it actually affecting uh, the, the performance, you know, uh, I mean the in-game performance, not the, <laughs> the technical performance. But uh, uh, look, looking into that was way more important and that was the decision why we actually didn't, didn't release all the weapons at the end or for, for the last few, day, a few hours, for example. I, I would say we, uh, the, the few things we noticed is that uh, even though we, uh, even more narrow it down after Alpha, um, we will still do a little bit more work on communication and predictability. Mm -hmm. so because there was a lot of questions like, hey, how can I get this weapon? Yep. And uh, uh, it was very good, it was actually very good questions. And uh, we, we are now looking into how to make sure that if players want, like I want this yep. done, you will sort of understand what you can do and, and what steps you should actually take towards that and, and make it a little bit more understandable. Yeah. Yeah, I, for example, was already quite far into the beta weekend before I realized I picked com the completely wrong corporation. I didn't get what I wanted. So my so two best friends did exactly the same yeah. thing because they, I was obviously playing with them uh, third or second day because the first day obviously I, you know, I was playing myself just mm. with the, uh, uh, on, on the build. And then uh, they were like, oh my god, this is super cool SMG, we, we definitely go for it. And I was like, hey, yeah, on level four you will actually get it. I forgot to say which corporation. <laughs> and then they were like, we got to level four, but we got a different one. It's like, wh why did we go this one? It's like, did you pick? Oh my God, no, but that corporation had better logo, so we pick it up one. I was like, oh my God, I'm yeah. so sorry. And they were like, that sucks. I, I hear that, no worries, I heard that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I have very, uh, uh, very honest and, and frank friends. Uh, so we, we are looking into how to how to better communicate yeah. that. Uh, if it's if it's the decision of which corporation to pick and what are the reasoning there, all the way to uh, progression of the guns, uh, making uh, more understandable. Like okay, if I want this, how do I get it? Yeah. Okay. And how do I uh, how what I should do to actually get it? So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think that's kind of related to the second kind of next question that players were talking about the RNG aspects of the game. Mm -hmm. That if you wanted a specific weapon with a specific attachment you needed to get it from a drop mm -hmm. and it wasn't always clear like where to get <laughs> it but I guess this is mostly something that's like that there were like parts of necessary communication mm -hmm. missing about like how the features will work. That was one part. Uh, second part is that uh, again we were testing like uh, what what can we do and how it will actually work. Uh, we, we will we will communicate this way better. Yep. Uh, and uh, we, we already knew about it when we were releasing the beta build, but again, it's better to get the data, uh, even though if you know some parts of it, then, then to actually sit on it, because obviously we could have missed a few things, and we did, uh, and it was actually, I'm, I'm, I'm super happy that, uh, that we do so. I think there, we, we will be not only improving the communication, but the streamlining it a little bit as well, to make sure that it's not, uh, I, I don't like to say not grindy, uh, mm -hmm. you know, I. I think part of the grind is obviously part of the game and it's it's important to be there, but uh, more predictable is the okay. word that I would use, as well as uh, make the experience in general smoother and uh, and give you more uh, more options. Uh, so there is going to be some RNG, but you will be able to control the odds and you will understand what should I do to actually get the odds on my side. Okay, yeah. Um, then kind of one question. Um, of course, the game, like Beta Weekend, didn't have any sort of monetization mm -hmm. in it. Uh, but there were a lot of questions about will the game be pay to win? <laughs> we have answered this already a couple of times, but would you want to <laughs> answer oh, it again? No. <laughs> that was nice and short. No, oh, I, I know. I, I, I usually, I'm, I'm usually the, the guy who doesn't talk much. Well, that's, that's a lie. But um, in, in no, of course not. And that's, that's not, the, not, the, not, not even on the table. And, uh, you know, I, I remember that Matthias at some point had a very good point on one of the interviews when he mentioned that. Uh, um, like we, we have one one thing and that's actually players trust uh, in, in, the, in the in the free to play market and uh, that's the one thing we need to play with and uh, and losing that would, would be would be a horrible thing and uh, <clears throat> there was questions like hey will it, will it be pos possible to buy these boxes down the road no I can tell you that straight uh, uh, it's, it's still gonna be possible obviously there is gonna be monetization there, there are there are gonna be things to buy but uh, the idea is that you should never be able to buy a power uh, okay. you can you can buy in some ways options, or you can obviously you know speed up something, but it's not going to be that uh, on the functional side there's not going to be like uh, some paywall uh, behind you. You will have to go or hey like this you know, this part of uh, things are, are is closed. You know there is going to be vanity, there are going to be skins and stuff like this, sure, uh, but uh, it's it's not going to be in a way that like hey I. I 
like now um, either I will get the box from here or I will actually, no, 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 no. Yeah. Like the, again, I know that some people use the word loot boxes on the boxes we had in, in the game. <laughs> they were not loot boxes and we are <laughs> not planning to sell them. Just saying that and like, you know, record this and, and, and put it on a wall if you want. Uh, it's, it's fine. But like that, that has never been an idea. Okay. And like I, I, th I said before that there, there are no, not going to be any loot boxes in the game. I'm just repeating it the same way, you know, that's, that's not where we go. Okay, that's good to hear. Uh, Kai, would there happen to be any questions from the chat at this point? Yes, there was actually an interesting one about car windows. Are we going, like, how is the interaction going to be between bullets and car windows? Are you going to be able to shoot through them or are you going to be able to break the windows? What's the plans with those? So on, on, on the car windows, as, as I mentioned, uh, we, we've got similar feedback after alpha. Uh, we, we've been discussing that after, and after beta we actually did not, but uh, uh, it's, it's getting more and more common that, uh, uh, that the, the logic is that uh, the car windows are un impenetrable, and uh, we haven't yet seen it as a, as a biggie, and it's not something on our plate right now. Obviously, if we would see that uh, it is becoming a problem, then, then, then we, will, we will definitely jump and we will start doing something with it. But for now, at least, we, there, are, there are no plans uh, to, to do changes on that field. Okay. Then there's another interesting question. Where was the Talon LMG, the Incisor, and overall Apex? Are we going to see the Apex armors again? Damn it. <clears throat> gone forever no no, oh. no like uh, I, I i can i can call everyone down that like they they these things exist uh obviously we've, we've been testing certain part of the game and uh, we are we are developing uh, developing further um the the apex will definitely this definitely not forgotten uh although if, if someone is asking where is my super heavy apex which will be unpenetrable uh from for, uh, from uh, alpha that one is gone. I can tell you that Good. one. That's a bit. Uh, that that's a rebalance. Um, but uh, down down the road, you you might see Apex coming back. But uh, at least for now, uh, we we will be seeing more of a Merlin Alliance and you know Foundry. Obviously, Apex we we still have, and, and we have we have even more interesting Apex things. Not not saying anything. You know, <laughs> wink wink. Uh, send, sending regards to Pekka to Cypress. Uh, but um, yeah, but for now, uh, the, these were the three main manufacturers we wanted to actually have in there, and uh, we, we will go for them for now. All right. Then there is a one more question. Um, what is the most interesting feedback that you've received of anything? I know there's been a lot of feedback, but is there anything that you feel really jumped out? Laude, you should first. Interesting feedback. Uh, I don't know about feedback, but I would want to give a shout out at this point to Monsieur Honhon and Shifty for providing me with a lot of interesting to bugs to look at during the tests. They've been awesome. Things I couldn't imagine ever seeing are possible in our game, which is quite cool. But yeah, feedback. I don't actually... Well, I, I would I would first, bro, like if, if you would really wake me up in the morning, I would say that was the 3v6, that the white outlines <laughs> actually looked like a target, which... Uh, uh, it was funny, like again, shout out to my friends, they actually, I was playing with my two best friends and they did exactly the same thing. Uh, I was running to one side and, and, you know, I was going for the objective and my, my great, uh, great buddies, they decided to go on the, on the second team and started shooting them. And then I, I, I was staring at them, I was like, what the hell are you doing, guys? Um, to, to understand it, like, okay, no, well, that didn't go well. Um, I would say that's one thing. Second thing is definitely the, uh, how... Uh, how the well, you guys call it wall hack, or we call it the round tree uh, uh, scene, uh, see throughs and uh, and highlights. How they actually were per, uh, strong for a certain group of of players. That was, oh my god, you you look gorgeous, beautiful. Uh, how, <laughs> I uh, that, that's perfect. Uh, please keep it up, keep it up. Uh, <laughs> there was the question in the chat. Is that a hat? Well, yes. This here one? it is. You can see it. Yes, no. Kai, Kai is uh, mucho sexy. So, um, <laughs> where, did I, where did I go? Like, I completely lost. Yeah, yeah so, so the wall hacks, and, and that one was, was definitely one. Um, I would say as well, it was very interesting to see people in general interact with the crafting. And uh, here, especially, I, I will be talking on behalf of Kirill, uh, who, is, uh, who is our senior game designer, and who is, who is basically looking over the progression and, and that part. Uh, 
it was awesome to see like the interactions and where it led and uh, how people behave and uh, you know it was the first time for us in that way from the positive ways i would say the amount like once again i really didn't expect that many people streaming and, and having yeah. that many videos i it made my day and i was so happy like you know it's for for us it's baby and when, when you see that people and it's you know because my biggest nightmare was like oh my god all the streams are just gonna be like take a look on how <clears throat> the game is and it wasn't it was actually quite positive and even though there were actually moments where we were face palming each other that was actually fine uh it was, it was more on, on the on the constructive and and, and good way uh, so that was very positive, as well as uh, I was really happy that people really liked the corporations and you know the communication about them. Sure, the selection was more in, in a way of like who had better logo, but the fact that even this worked and that even this was actually something really driving was was a great thing, and uh, I would say it's uh, it's it's a huge thing. And uh, the last part from the positive ways, I, I would give once again a big shout out to the whole community and. Uh, to everyone from Discord, uh, YouTube, Twitter, to whomever was actually playing, to all the players out there, uh, thank you very much, guys. It's it's amazing that you are with us. Uh, you you are making all of this possible, and uh, it's it's great to see that uh, not only you like the game, but you are providing us great uh, great constructive feedback and, and constructive criticism, which is which is helping us to move forward. So, big shout out to you. Yeah, I think as a kind of wrap up of the whole conversation so far, kind of considering the feedback from like all of the tests we've run until this point, like, do you feel that we're generally on the right track with what we're doing or will the players kind of need to expect some massive changes going forward? We'll rework it to strategy game. Uh, now, I, I, I would say, and, and you, got, you guys, uh, I, I think I already mentioned it, but like, I, I feel that we are really on the good way. Uh, and I'm, I'm happy that... Uh, the feedback was uh, was in that way as well. Sure, there was a lots of you know lots of things which are uh, which needs fixing, change like some some minor changes. But the the course is good. The course is solid, and uh, it's it's great to see that we are on the way towards having something that people like and people want to play. And uh, you know the fact that there was the <laughs> there there was the Discord push on keeping the servers running. Otherwise, there is going to be storming into Helsinki. Uh, thank you for not storming. That was good. <laughs> I, I was getting a bit yeah. worried. Uh, <laughs> I was, like I, I would, I would rather not show my address. But um, yeah, but that was that was amazing. And, you know, just, it it so much fuels the whole team to see that you know it that there are people who like it and and it, that what we do makes sense. So. Okay. So then the next logical question, of course, is. When is the next test? Booga booga. booga. Uh, <laughs> yep. In the words of our community, <laughs> booga booga when release. Uh, <laughs> and as always, I will say, I will never say. Um, you guys know, and you know, I, I, I got this, this question a lot. You, you guys know that I will never say that unless we actually know. And uh, I, will, I will say the same thing now. You know, it's, uh, I would love to be able to see. And obviously, we have our, our times. And, and uh, there might be uh, the date somewhere written and, and scrubble on the, on, the, on the wall that I would rather take away so no one takes a picture. But uh, it's, we, we, will, we will let you know as soon as we have and we feel like it's, it's close. I, I said it many times before, but I, wouldn't, I would really hate to, to give a date and then take it back or, yep. or give a false promise and then, then see people being pissed off about it. And like, it's, it's not how we do. I, I think it's more important to come out when the game is good, when, when we feel like, hey, now is good time to either for release or to test again something. Uh, I, I would say that's gonna be the, the, cor the course, you know, like we, when, when we get there and we will feel that like this is the moment, this is, now is good time to, mm -hmm. uh, to, to go. We will let you know and we will, we will again announce it and uh, Vuga Vuga we will, we will see on Discord and on Twitch, stream, Twitter, whenever, <laughs> on the internet. Yeah. So before moving to the beta weekend contest, uh, Guy, is there still something from your end or Twitch end? Okay, yes, we have one more question coming in actually. Um, the shields, the big placeable shields that you can put down, they appear to be a little bit clunky to some people. They seem to have uh, too big of a hitbox, while in the alpha they used to be way smaller and easier to place. Mm -hmm. Is there any thought on how those are going to be evolving? Are they going to stay like this, or are they going to be smaller again, or what's the plan? So I think sizing-wise, they will probably stay somewhat similar. They might be. Uh, we will be looking a little bit on their functionality. 
Um, and there, there might be actually some changes around them, but I think sizing we didn't discuss any changes. But I, I will definitely talk with uh, with Vitek, with Vit, uh, our second to second designer, who is actually responsible for items, to take a look. So if, if you guys have some specific uh, feedback on the placement, and if there are some bugs, please shoot it over, uh, either to on Discord or or uh, uh, to Lowry and the guys on on the customer side, so we can take a look. As like if, if there is any video, please you know point point it out. We will take a look. It the uh, it sounds to me a little bit, maybe even like a bug. Uh, maybe the hitbox was really a little bit too big and uh, it, it sort of blocked. Uh, we were, I know that there was before a little bit of an issue that you could actually stack them and create uh, impenetrable walls, in, uh, especially around the staircases. Yeah. Is it uh, actually intended that you can enclose yourself between two shields? Yes. It is? Okay. No. Uh, no? No, <laughs> you should be able to vault over them. Yeah. But uh, okay. I think there is a bug where you can still do that. Uh, yeah. Okay. So no, it's it, it shouldn't be. Like, you can protect yourself that way, sure. But it shouldn't <laughs> be that. I, I think right now you need to destroy it to be able to go through. Yeah. I'm so, always thinking that it would be the best kill ever. Just someone does that, as Max here did in the test not too long ago. Getting a grenade in there would probably feel pretty good. So I, I'm not sure if it's possible, but it is. <laughs> it and is. Yes, okay. I, I I know it. I, I don't. I'm happy I don't have video, <laughs> but yeah, I, l let's say that I might seen it. In mm -hmm. uh, as as I can confirm, uh, my uh, my ability of uh, killing myself with a grenade is uh, I'm I'm keep improving uh, okay. and, uh, and being more and more creative and. Uh, I can confirm that this is possible, and it, it might have or not have happened. But yeah. Okay, excellent. Uh, is there anything no else, rooftop. guys? <laughs> what rooftop? Uh, it was. A, I think we were sharing that already <laughs> in the alpha. But yeah, like, yeah, we've shared it already. Yeah, there was a perfect moment when uh, Kai scared the crap out of me, and uh, when when I was there, he was nearly dead. Uh, I didn't know that, and I started throwing grenades all over the place, and I actually killed myself <laughs> while he was he had something like five bullets in the gun left. So. Yeah, I was just standing there looking at him, panicking, <laughs> blowing himself up. That was really entertaining. Not Can from my imagine. not from my angle, but yeah, I, I believe from <laughs> yeah. yours, yes. <laughs> yeah, it was very entertaining to see. Yes. <laughs> and any more questions, Kai? Um, no, I haven't gotten any more questions so far. Okay, Good. so let's move onwards to the beta weekend contest. So, as you guys probably know, during the beta weekend we were running a competition where you were able to submit your videos or screenshots or self-made art into kind of three dif different categories. So we had best plays, funniest moments and an open category that I guess included everything that doesn't fit in the other two. So kind of also being big fans of the rule of three as we are in this company, uh, we naturally also chose three winners for each of the three categories, which means that there are a total of nine winners for this beautiful competition. Each of them will be receiving a nine to five merchandise prize, which you might have already seen on the screen. So Guy, if you want, well, okay, we have one here as well. I'm not putting it on because my head is too big, but we have this beautiful cap, which is also the same cap that we Red Hill employees use. So it is beautiful. Kai, show off. Kai, please do show how it fits. Well, I can, yeah, it is on the largest setting and oh. it no, actually kind of fits. Come on. Oh man. Here we go. That's what we wanted to see. Mm -hmm. I think the the one thing that is missing, Kai, are no. the black, the, are, are the black uh, uh, sunglasses. No. Do the combo. Oh, sunglasses. Oh. Here we go. Oh. oh yes. Oh yes. This is wedding. Yeah. Now I need a golden chain. Where's my golden chain? Wait. Really? <laughs> <laughs> no. This escalated way too quickly. Yes. <laughs> uh. So. There were a lot of great entries in the competition, but as mentioned, there can only be nine winners. So without further ado, we have a cool video created by Max, which will announce the winners. Reloading.
Swing to your left. Swing to your left and look through the hole in the wall. To your right. Oh, what a... <laughs> what a manimal. What a what chat a manimal. play. Oh. Blow you, blow you, you blow you. Get over here, boy. I can't res you that side, man. Great. Move to expediency is key. Sprint to the next objective. Great. Now crouch or vault to get near the ammo box. Preparedness is key. Refill ammo at ammo. Yeah. Congratulations to all the winners. It's very well done. Congrats, guys. And I wish I would be able to have actually such a mistake with the grenades, which would end well and not by blowing up myself or my teammates. But no. Maybe next, next time. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Uh, we will be reaching out to all of the winners personally in the coming days to talk about how to provide the <laughs> cool cap for all of you guys. And we will also be posting the full clips uh, later on Discord because we did have to cut some of these down because they were quite long. But I would really kind of advise all of you to go to Discord and look at the clips because they were pretty great. And I think that's all that we had planned for the stream today. Is there any final questions from the chat? Um, no, don't see any questions. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, I would still like to use this opportunity to thank our great Discord community especially the mods and helpers who have been really, really helpful for us and kind of, I don't think we could have managed the tests without them. So if you haven't joined our Discord, I would advise you to do so now because they're pretty awesome. And like we would also love it if you would go and wishlist and follow us on Steam to stay on top of everything happening with the game. And I think that is all. So thanks everyone for watching. Thank you, Kai, Milos, the whole team here in the room, and especially everyone who participated in the beta. Thank you. Thank you very much, guys. Pleasure. One, once again, big, big shout out to the community. Big shout out to the moderators, Discord guys, helpers, you guys rock. And thank you for being here with us and uh, being in this awesome journey. And uh, looking forward, Booga Booga, hopefully soon. <laughs>